ruler Jacob Rothschild has gloated that the New World Order will have full control over mankind by the year 2018. An issue of the Rothschild-controlled Economist magazine distributed in 1988 straightforwardly told its per-users that a world money would be set up by 2018. Disclosed.tv reports, with this at the top of the priority list, The Economist is working as a semi-purposeful publicity arm for the keeping money realm and it is intended to take action conclusion that the globalist plan will execute. Controlling interest of the economist held by Rothschild family. In the magazine, on January 9, 1988, it was said that quite a while from now, individuals in the United States, Europe, and the Japanese, alongside others and nations that are rich, will pay for shopping utilizing a similar cash. The cost of things won't be appeared in yen, dollars, or the immense British pound, however, in one cash. This cash will be supported by customers alongside organizations as it would be significantly more helpful than the diverse monetary standards of today. Thought of single currency started back in 1988 and was called outlandish. The possibility of a solitary cash in 1988 appeared to be stunning. One of the greatest changes to the world economy since the 70s has been that streaming cash has assumed control exchange products similar to the power behind driving the trade rates. Because of the reconciliations of the money-related markets far and wide, the distinctions in national monetary strategies that are known to change the loan costs, enormous exchanges of budgetary resources are produced using one nation to another. The exchanges can overwhelm the exchange income streams in actuality on request and supply of the diverse monetary forms thus in the impact on the trade rates. Broadcast communications innovation is proceeding to develop in headway and exchanges will be less expensive and they will get quicker. On account of financial approaches that are ungraceful, monetary forms are just going to get significantly more unstable. The currency union is going to be difficult to resist. The national monetary limits are gradually dissolving and the pattern will proceed, and the interest of the money union will be difficult to oppose to everybody, aside from the outside trade dealers alongside governments. With the new single cash, the financial acclimation to the move in relative costs is something that will happen easily, and it will happen consequently. With no cash chance exchange, business and venture will be impelled on. The new single money would see requirements as on national governments being fixed. There won't be, for example, a thing as national financial strategy. The new money supply would be settled by a bank that was focal. There would be a world expansion rate and on account of edges that would be limited, each of the national swelling rates would be in its charge. Nations would have the capacity to utilize imposes alongside spending by people in general to counterbalance any falls sought after that was brief and would need to obtain as opposed to printing cash to back any shortfall of the financial plan. There would be no response to the expansion duty, thus banks and governments would need to judge obtaining alongside loaning design significantly more precisely than they do at exhibit. This would maybe mean a colossal loss of financial sway, be that as it may. Patterns that make a solitary money engaging would take the power away. Regardless of whether trade rates were pretty much skimming, the individual governments would have strategy freedom checked by an outside world that was not inviting. Regular forces will push world towards economic integration. With another century coming, common powers will continue pushing the world into financial mix that will offer an expansive decision to governments. They can set up a blockade or they can simply oblige the stream. Getting ready for a solitary cash will guarantee there are less imagined concessions to strategy and there will be all the more genuine ones. There will be dynamic advancement of the private division's utilization of global cash alongside any national cash that exists. It would imply that individuals would vote utilizing their wallets for a move that would wind up as a full cash union. A solitary cash may begin as a blend of national monetary forms, and in time the incentive against the national monetary forms wouldn't make any difference because of the way that individuals will pick it as it will be significantly more advantageous and there will be solidness behind the obtaining power. Ten years later economist preaches globalist agenda again. In 1998, after ten years, The Economist printed another article advancing globalist plans, One World.
one money. This was like the piece they had composed ten years earlier, and it went ahead to endeavor to clarify why a more controlled and incorporated framework will be gainful to the worldwide economy, while in the meantime disregarding that a unified worldwide cash will be an enormous upset for global keeping money cartels. It will likewise be the main issue, monetarily, for the managing and account domain of the Rothschild family. Making of a solitary worldwide cash is additionally going to give a lot of geopolitical cash flow to global brokers that have not been chosen, and it could remove control from the general population of countries alongside government delegates. Yet, the inquiry is regardless of whether anybody needs global investors to have an enormous measure of energy, politically, over a considerable measure of money-related impact and the measure of influence they as of now have an influence. Individuals today need to have more say in their own lives and they don't need strategy directed by officials and banksters. The Rothschild family is keeping a profile that is low and people in general lie. Be that as it may, they do in any case have numerous business operations, and these are spread out finished a wide cluster of parts. There isn't a specific individual from the Rothschild family observed on the wealthiest rundown of Forbes. However the family is said to have control over more than $1 trillion in resources around the world. Hence they do in any case have a voice that is solid over the whole geopolitical range, and many consider this to be a hand that is concealed that controls occasions unobtrusively out of sight under a smoke screen.